the five pillars of master data. How do we articulate to this business? How do they have to understand what we do? Think about the five pillars of master data in terms of managing it. So the first one obviously is value. Value structure, connectability, coverage, and quality, and I'll go in this order, and these aren't totally rank order, but I'm gonna end with quality, because that's where most people start. And quality, I will tell you, is the most emotional, subjective thing on this page. We need better data quality. What does that mean? What is our data quality? I don't know. I've seen three kinds of data quality, good, great, and sucks. But you've gotta, again, it's all kind of relative and it's really hard to pitch the quality angle. What value are we gonna get out of better quality of data? That's a, it's important, but it's hard to lead with that because any board is gonna make a very simple decision between should we improve our data quality or our product quality? So just kind of temper that a little bit and maybe the rest of this will help support that story. So if you start with value, the big B, of course, you gotta start there. Does this data have business relevance? Yes, it is the most important data we have. It's about our relationships. Is it fit for purpose, especially when you're getting it from an external supplier? Can it help me make decisions at scale? Scale being the single word benefit statement of master data, right? It allows you to scale. It's magic data when you put it in a machine that allows it to do something a thousand times instead of 10, or a billion times instead of a hundred, it allows things to scale. And that's what organizations want to do. They want to make decisions at scale. Then you need a structure, the standardized structure. Again, code, company, category, country, or whatever you want to call it, that works for a lot of folks. But that standardized structure on that data, it needs to be connectable. Kind of a weird word here, connectability, but integratable, interoperability, all those kinds of words. It doesn't just sit in a single repository, you know, we have master data for master data's sake. People always talk to me about, what's the MDM only use case? I go, that's oxymoronic with an accent on the moronic. There's no such thing. It's got to feed other stuff. It does nothing by itself. So it's got to connect to all these different systems and all these different third parties, whatever your network is, it has to cover your business. And I look at this a lot when you've got external data suppliers coming at you and talking about hundreds of millions of records in lots of countries. Does it cover my business? Is it appropriate? And does it cover my business landscape in some way? What's the percentage of my volume that that can represent? Also an important factor. And then obviously quality. Quality is important, but it's not the only thing. And I won't keep pushing that. But it's, you need quality in terms of collection, maintenance, permissible use. So call this part of data governance, call this part of MDM, call this part of just explaining it to the business side. But these five pillars have helped folks articulate that value between value, structure, connectability, coverage, and quality. Very simple, straightforward way to look at. The five pillars of master data